Okay, uh, today I have something fun for you. I uh, just picked this up off of eBay. Uh, it's another uh, Falconetti item. Uh, in case you're not super familiar with some of my earlier videos. Uh, it's a silent film actress, uh, uh, Renee Falconetti from France. Uh, she did uh, The Passion of Joan of Arc. It's probably one of my favorite movies of all time. One of my favorite performances. I collect her. Love her stuff. Anyway, she was mostly known as a theater actress, but did, like I said, that movie and a few of the small bits. So, I just like to grab her stuff whenever I can. Uh, this one is from France. As you can see there. Actually, these are kind of fun, too. I always like seeing like the different stamps and things you get in the different marks. So yeah, this is just like a little, um, I think it was like a, um, like a news magazine or like a movie magazine from, uh, I think it was like the 20s. I'm not positive. Um, obviously, I said I do not speak nor read French. So you kind of have to just go with what the description says. And I saw her name and it was a pretty reasonable price, so I went and grabbed it. So... See what we got here. All right, as you can see it's definitely been taped together, so it's definitely not in the best shape. Actually, this is like a it's like a it's like a fashion magazine mirror Ladas modes. So let's see what we got here. And. Uh, Oh yes, one of my favorites. Like I said, it's uh, I love these old ads. It's one of my favorite things about these. So a lot of times, uh, it's one of the main reasons why I even get them. It's just because of the ads in them. So these are all always good. Yeah, I'm. I said I'm not. Looks yeah, it definitely does look like a fashion magazine. And that looks like, uh, it says, Mademoiselle Falconetti. So it looks like it's supposed to be her right there. So I'm not sure if that's from a play. But yeah, you can see, like it even says uh, right down here, Jonah Arc, uh, the film by Meyer. So it must have been um, like, uh, like a, like a, um, no, it was like a fashion shoot or something, but promoting the uh, the movie. So, uh, let's see, it's, it's a little ref little reflection in that. Don't mean to. But yeah, so it looks to be uh, again kind of like a like a fashion magazine. Got some of these outfits here. Let's see what we got. Mm -hmm. Looks like maybe some stories, definitely some more fashion. Oh, this, yeah, this is very like 20s, 30s. I mean, look at the, uh, oops. Look at, that, look at the hats and the hats. Very flapper, very deco. Let's see, what was this say? Yeah, 1928. So, yeah. Very interesting. Like I said, I don't know much about fashion or anything else, so I can't tell you if any of this is famous or not, or if any of these people are famous, but it's pretty cool. Right, I got some color color ones in here. These are nice. And sorry if, uh, again, if the lighting is a little rough. I'm trying this on my workbench. I figure it might be an easier place to do these, but the lighting is, it's like it's either too much or too little. I can't quite get it out right yet, but... see more fashion more fashion this is kind of cool we got some decor stuff um it's like some kind of travel children's children's wear it's like some knitting so that's kind of fun let's see got some the eric pen those are kind of fun Oh, it looks like we got a little, little stuck there. It looks like, yeah, actually like the tape. They got a little carried away in the tape. But, uh, yeah, so I don't know all these, but it's, uh, 
Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Ooh, the Mexicane. That's, uh, that's kind of fun. So yeah, so just uh, it's a, a 1928 uh, Mirror Lessus Modes. I'm sure that's completely slaughtered. But it's the closest French I get. And while I'm here, I'll show you this too. I totally forgot about this when I was doing my Falcon Annie collection. I got this ad here. It's from an old magazine. Let's see if I can't get a little less in the way of reflection. But you can see she's uh, it's for like a like a blanket for your car. And it's uh I don't know if it's supposed to be alpaca or something. But yeah, so it's it's basically she's advertising a car blanket. I thought it was kind of cool. You know. Totally forgot I said I totally forgot to show this one when I was doing my collection, so just a little bonus Falconetti item here. So yeah, just uh like I said just a magazine that's picked up on eBay. Like I said I didn't pay much for it, so it's even though it's a little rough, I still dig it and it's got a nice picture of her in it. Um again doing the uh looks like some advertising or something from the movie. Uh, I'm not sure if that's from a play, but yeah, pretty cool. So anyway, uh that's it for today. Um Thanks. Bye.